I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Go loud. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Got a man in and out of his hands. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Second and 10. Ball in the 25. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 32. Fires out to his wideout. He breaks a second tackle. They'll bring him down at the 44. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Runs right for a nice game. He's looking for his man, and it's intercepted. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 28-yard line, it's first down. He's going to air it long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. It's third and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Caught out in the open. He's at midfield. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Five wide. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 43-yard line, second down. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick throw, almost intercepted. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Zips it to the tight end, and they make the stop around the one-yard line. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. And he just gets rid of it. This is the 11th play of this drive. Fires 
fires that quickly incomplete. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. Third down and goal to go. Ball on the one. Rose complete touchdown. the receiver for six. And the receiver does a nice job here fighting off the defender to get to the ball. That was a nice pitch and catch. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11-play, 72-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yard and just rip the heart right out of that defense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Tennessee's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's finally shoved out at the 48-yard line. He's got an opening. Nice run to the outside. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. pass and down he goes around the 28 yard line here's the throw and I don't think he got anything on that Gets rid of it quickly. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. Ten yards to the end zone. They come out in a five-wide set. Go for Go! Out of bounds, right around the six-yard line. And he hits him hard at the one-yard line. Muse picks up around five yards with that catch. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee's offense deserves all the credit in the world. You come into a crowd like this, and they didn't keep them from doing the job at hand. They got points on that opening march. Just really impressive. It, considering this is, I think, one of the toughest environments in all the college football, that's a job well done. Now they've got to continue to try to build off that opening drive. Nice run up the middle. That's good to be. That brings him second and five. Tennessee holds a four point lead. On 
the catch, and he steps out. Johnson picks him up six yards with a catch. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Nearly intercepted. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. That's a short gain there by the halfback for the first down. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. Going deep. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Vols! That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. He makes the PAT. Line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's taken down at the 18 yard line. The volunteers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Like this. And he's tackled the 21-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. At the 18. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it third and 11. From their own 18-yard line. Third down. He throws right. And he hauls that one in. And he's taken down at the 34. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Gets to about the 34-yard line. No that makes it second and 10. In the shotgun and five wide out. And he throws it away. So at the end of one quarter, Tennessee leads it 14-3. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question. He should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee holds an eight-point advantage. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's leveled at the 34-yard line. That's a deal. That brings up second and one. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's hit immediately. That's good for being at 10 yards. First down. He is drilled at the 48. Jones wins the tackle at the 48 yard line. That makes it second and two. Let's go, let's go. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. Gaining four yards. That makes it first and ten. Steps out of bounds around the 40 yard line. That's a gain of four on the way. That makes it seven and six. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. He makes it to the 38 yard line. Pitch and catch for the first down. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Tennessee up by eight. He goes out of bounds around the 23 yard line. That makes it seven and six. He's got it with room to run. And they push him out at the 17. That'll bring up third and inches. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He's in the body. Let's go. He's got it out to his tight end. What a play, and that is first and goal. Number 52 brings his end at the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the six yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. That's a great tackle at the one. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Touchdown. He gives them another score, his second in the passing game. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He 
kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Quick throw, and he shoved out of bounds around the 41-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. He's taken down at around the 48-yard line. And they may need to hurry here. Well, you'd think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now. Go for Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourself back as a team back into this game. From the 30-yard line, first down, and he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Tackles him hard at the 21. Kick is up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They bring the quarterback down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And they get nice yardage on that run. You admire their faith in the running game, but a pass might have been the better way to go. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 41. The Volunteers are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number three. Wants 
to go long and does. Rifles it right. Fires quickly. Touchdown. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. Converts the extra point. Maglia has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. I don't know what these guys have to do to get back on track, but they need to try something. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Well, we're headed to the half, and this game is getting out of hand. The Volunteers in front, 31-6. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These offenses seemingly took advantage of every opportunity to make a big play. They were prolific, explosive plays at every turn. Offensive coordinators dialing up great calls at just the right moment, it seems. No, it did seem that way, and, and everything worked. But there's also the other side of the equation, too. And, we talk about it all the time. Da 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 da. You want to make top 10 plays and you want to be celebrated. You want to see your clip for a couple days on Sports Center. But when you're on defense, you can't always make a big Sports Center play. You can't try to decapitate somebody every single time. It's okay to make the easy tackle, grab their legs, wrap them up. Right now, a lot of sloppy tackling is making the offensive guys look 10 times better than they should be. You don't have to make sports center. You could just make the regular, normal, everyday play. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. Hi, hi, really a lopsided around. ball game as we're just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here complete. Tries to thread the needle. It's picked off. He's at the 40. At this point, we're talking moral victories for this defense. It's been a long day, but at least they didn't quit and they came up with an interception here. From the 28-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 20, knocked out of bounds at the 19-yard line. around the 24-yard line. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is, he's not getting away. From the 24-yard line, it's third down. Just throws this one away. It has the distance, and he 
got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 31-9, Tennessee. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. They'll get him for a loss. Tries to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted. To the 20. To the 10. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. So the offense is going to go for two. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They don't get it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gamecocks defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in this game. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Left, picked off to the 20. And he's tackled around the eight yard line. Brad, this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's into the open field. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. He kept it himself and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? He splits the uprights with the extra point. South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, we've seen some mistakes from this quarterback tonight, Kirk. Well, I think even though he's a senior quarterback, you're still going to have games like this. The most important thing is he's got some experience to fall back on to realize that, hey, I can still get through this game and still be successful despite these mistakes. I'm sure he's pretty eager to make up for his subpar performance. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Inside, inside. 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 
Got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 21. He steps out at the 24. Johnson picks him up about three yards with the catch. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Tackle made at the 32. And this one is a beauty. Looking for the corner. Oh, what a hit. Pretty good job by the return man there. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Strike complete. And he's taken down around the 37 yard line. Open receiver drops. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Second and 10. Ball on the 37. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 22. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Tackle right around the 14-yard line. Under pressure, he's taken down around the 11 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it second and eight. They'll bring him down at about the seven yard line. Four yards on that play. Good recovery here by the corner to react that quickly on the throw and prevent this from becoming even a bigger game. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And they make the stop at the six. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. South Carolina is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Tennessee is up by six. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense.
level at the 40-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mighty! 53, 50. Watch the slant, watch the slant. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. Tennessee's lead is six. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Small gets the call again. He makes it out to midfield. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Tennessee up six. Falling back complete. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. From the 28-yard line, second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And down he goes at the 26. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Needed that play, and he dropped it. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. Our score after the field goal, Tennessee, 34, South Carolina, 25. He got hit hard. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. The offense is in desperation mode, and the defense is thinking, guys, one more stop, we can get out of here with a win. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. He's under pressure, and he's going to come up with a sack. Lost the five yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Red two. And he's tackled at the 28. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. It's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Five wide. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought 
down at the 34. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught over the middle. Tackle at about the 23 yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he hits him hard at the 16. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Go four, three, go. 15. Go. And he stopped behind the line. Kill, kill, kill. That'll bring up third and six. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll make it fourth and 14. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and he splits the uprights. at the 41. So they recover the kick, and now the game's probably in their hands. If they can hang on to the ball or score, I don't see how they can lose. A score here might effectively end this one. Just over a minute left. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Gamecocks will use their first time out of the half. Second and five. Ball on the 36. Off, and he's met in the backfield. South Carolina's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Brooks is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Gamecocks have got to be fired up how this game is going. they still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's immediately tackled. Down the middle. This one will fall incomplete. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Under a minute left in the game. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 43. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He flings it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. So they're going to go for it here. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. 
Makes it out to about the 49. goes downtown. They'll bring him down right around the 10-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. From the 10-yard line, it's second down. He throws left. This is the 10th play of this drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws for the touchdown and it's going to be an interception. Steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. First down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. Tennessee with a six-point lead. Nice run there. Great. Gains about four yards on the play. Makes it and so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 34-28, Tennessee. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.